Hey guys, Masita here, your go-to vocal and language coach here on TakeLessons.com and welcome to another episode of Beginning Spanish Sentence Structures. So our sentence structure for today is going to be a noun or noun phrase plus the verb to be in this case will be the verb estar because we are talking about location in its present indicative form plus the preposition plus another noun noun phrase por ejemplo el coche está en el estacionamiento the car is in the parking lot in spanish the subject whether it be a pronoun a noun or a noun phrase or a pronoun or a proper noun um usually is the first element of a sentence followed by the verb in this case the verb to be in its present indicative form it is followed by a preposition and a noun or a noun phrase as we've learned in the past couple episodes we've been using primarily ser to be now let's use the other verb that means to be which is estar now please note that estar is a verb whose infinitive ending is a are so it's that is an AR verb guys so we use the verb estar for two things we use it like to form of a condition or a state whether it be mental physical or emotional and also location now of course these categories do not encompass all of the uses of the verb but they will be helpful as we learn how in which context we use it now let's talk about the formation of it. So here is a chart. Bam! In order to form the present tense of the indicative mood of the verb estar in the singular, you need to remove the AR ending from the infinitive form. Estar. So we're going to drop the AR. Adios. And then add the personal endings of the present tense. So check out this chart. So please repeat after me. Yo estoy which means I am. Después tenemos tú estás. You are informal. Él, ella está. He, she, or it is. Usted está. You are, but formally. Then tenemos Nosotros, nosotras, estamos. We are. Then, vosotros, vosotras, estáis. Then we have ellos, ellas, están, which means they are. Then, ustedes están. You all are, but formally. Now, notice that el, ella, and usted have the same conjugate endings. That's why if you're taking Spanish lessons or Spanish classes in school, in high school, you're going to see them grouped together. It's because they're going to have the same endings, including ellos, ellas, y ustedes. Now, remember that in Spanish, the verb will be conjugated according to the personal pronoun. For example, if I wanted to say he is well, él está bien, or she is nice, ella está amable. Now, because of the verb estar is so integral to the Spanish language, you will find it popping up all over the place. For example, observe how bienestar refers to the well-being and malestar refers to the discomfort. These are just two examples. Keep your eyes open for more. Also, as we've said, estar, estar is one of the two verbs in the Spanish language that means to be. The other is ser. Trust me when I say this. Please distinguish the two. It's very important because we're only allowed to use said or thought in certain contexts so if you want to know more about the verb said please check out my previous videos in beginning spanish all right so shall we talk about the prepositions of place now what are prepositions 
Prepositions of place point to the location or position of something or someone in relation to something else. In Spanish, prepositions formed by more than one word are called a prepositional phrase. Many of the Spanish prepositions of place are prepositional phrases. Here is a chart of some of the most common prepositions of place made up of one word. So here we have en, which is inside or on top of. Then tenemos sobre, which is over, on top of. Entre, entre, dice, in between. Por, by. Hacia, towards or two. Now, here's a chart of prepositional phrases. Al lado de. Next to. Alrededor de. Around the. Actually, please repeat after me with this one. Alrededor. Perfecto. Seguimos, eh? All right. Y después tenemos cerca de, which means near to. Close to, debajo de, under of, delante de, in front of, dentro de, inside of, detrás de, behind of, encima de, on top of, frente a, in front of, fuera de, Outside of, lejos de, far from, junto a, next to. One example, if I want to say the keys are on top of the table. Las llaves están sobre la mesa. Or if I want to say the beach is far from my house. La playa está lejos de mi casa. All right, so shall we practice? All right, now there is a reason why I... I gave you guys those prepositional phrases and words. So, here are some noun noun phrases. El cine. The movie theater. El centro comercial. The mall. La basura. The trash. La computadora, the computer. Los niños. All right, shall we try this? Empezamos. How would I say the children are next to the movie theater? All right, good. So just to review, remember that to give the location of something, we're just going to say a noun or a noun phrase plus the verb to be. Use a preposition plus another noun or a noun phrase. All right, guys, this will conclude for today's lesson. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Um, leave those questions in the comment sections below. If you guys are watching this on Take Lessons, go ahead, click that button that says ask a question, all, um, all questions do go directly to me. For more information for taking lessons with me, whether it be online or here in studio, go ahead, check out my Take Lessons profile to get information or go ahead, call Take Lessons in the number in the description window. All right, guys, hopefully I'll get a chance to talk or maybe even see you soon. Nos vemos. Ciao.